This Copilla Sim shows how to control a differential drive car so that it can move around using keyboard press. Our goal here is to go from the current location of the car to the black dot while avoiding the obstacle shown here. First of all, you soon need to start the simulation. Once the simulation started, it actually prints uh, the velocity and omega, which is the direction of movement. In order to make the differential drive car move, you press the forward up key and it starts moving with a slow speed and you can keep increasing that. In order to turn, move the left key, which will turn it to the left or the right key, which will turn it to the right. Now the speed is max, the rate of change is max, it sort of barely makes it to the black dot. The code for this is right here. Uh, there are some bounds on the velocity, v max, v min, omega min, omega max, you can change them if you want to. It also saves the data to a file, which is in this path. So on my computer, that is over here. Here is the main code which executes the velocity and omega and sent to the, the differential drive car. And here is the code which will write the, the data to a file. In this case, what I've chosen to do is I've chosen to save the time, the XY coordinate of the car, the orientation of the car, the goal location, the center of the obstacle, and then the radius of the obstacle. Now you, what you can do is you can add another obstacle. In order to add another obstacle, we go to add primitive shape cylinder so we'll choose the x to be 0.25 and the height to be 0.5 so it's sitting right here in order to move that we press move and then we move it to wherever you want it now this shows up here as cylinder we can rename that to obstacle 2 once we have that in order to take data from that, what we do is we go to the code, we create a handle, obstacle 2, 2, and then we'll get the dimensions of the cylinder, We'll get the position of the obstacle. And finally, we will uh, save that to the file. So I'll add three more values. These values would be x2, y2, r2 and they need to be also defined here x2, y2 we can close this, run the simulation again again we can press, do a key press Change the orientation. Want it to go straight. Let me turn right and left, and we can stop. You could also light code such that the differential drive car automatically stops the moment it reaches the black dot.
here is the output file since I stopped the simulation it generated the CSV file we can open that so in the CSV file we have time X Y position of the car the orientation of the car X goal Y goal X obstacle 1 Y obstacle 1 radius of obstacle 1 X obstacle 2 Y obstacle 2 and then the radius so now this did not get printed properly this is because I forgot to put a comma we can go back and fix this so it's missing a comma now with that change it will actually print I'll do the right thing